up, everybody? It's Samil. Coming to you from the Small Fry Show. Listen, it's a nice video. I, I want to bring something to y'all that I just recently talked about. And that's uh, complacency and carelessness, man. It'll cost you your life out here, for real. It cost somebody their life. Um, but before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This, ro this road is rough, man. So we don't get too excited. We just got our truck back, too. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's starting to snow a little bit. It's been snowing off and on all night. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the family. Also, the views and topics expressed in these videos are mine and mine only. They do not represent the company that I work for. I am not a spokesperson for said company. Now that we got that out the way, how's everybody doing? On this uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, this is our Monday night slash Tuesday morning run. So, yeah. We'll make it do what it do. Um, so, there was a situation down in Kentucky at a company, um, Southeastern Freight Lines. And what happened was, a guy was hooking a set of doubles, and he, you know, had the dolly spot in front of the tail trailer. And you're a license, Justin, man. I'm not a mirror. Yeah, uh, the dolly spotted in, in front of the tail trailer, and he, you know, got his lead trailer backed up, hooked up his dolly to the lead, connected everything. But when hooking his airlines up, this is a common practice people do, and I want y'all to just think about this. And hooking his airlines up, getting out checking for a leak, they, the, the article, the news report read that he forgot to set his brakes. So what's a common thing to do is keep the trailer brake released, keep, have the tractor brake set, which is the yellow, and release the red, which is the trailer. That way, when he opens that valve up on the uh, lead trailer, closes the valve on the dolly, and opens the the um, the valve on the lead trailer, it'll allow the air to flow to the back trailer. You can check for any air leaks. And what we do is we go to the back trailer, open the red valve up, and if you hear air coming out, you have a set a uh, uh, successful connection but by doing that he didn't he didn't set his uh he released the tractor in the trailer so neither one was set so what happened was he got back there between the trucks and uh we're gonna slide over because i don't know what this guy doing we like to stay in that left lane right there because this road is rough but oh uh, you can't make a delivery it looks like you can't park on the street like that though not in this not in this little small town right here they come and get you Plus, there's only one lane, like you're gonna try to back her in. Um, so by doing that, when he released the brakes, all, you know, he connected everything, opened it, the truck rolled, rolled over him. It, it rolled on him, and they said one of his uh, co-workers, I'm gonna link the article, one of his co-workers went in and threw the truck in reverse, tried to, get, but it wasn't, they were unsuccessful. They took him to the hospital and he died. That's what I mean. So at, at my company, they have a policy. And the policy is to set, when you park, you set your, you know, tractor and trailer brakes, or if you just bob tailing, you'll set the tractor, and the policy is to leave the truck in first or reverse. That's an a, a, a added safety measure. Now, that's not to say nothing won't happen, but it's that added, man, this road is rough. This little town like this, man, suburb of Cleveland, you think they take care of the road, man. Um, it's that added safety measure. It's 
so it, if you have ever hooked a set of dog, uh, uh, pups, set, a set that when you you will know that even with the trucking gear, the tractor brakes set and the trailer release, if you are in between those trailers and you open the valve up, when you open the valve and that air takes and it releases to go to that back trailer, the truck is going to move a little bit. That's why we have it in gear to keep, you know, even, even having it in gear is going to move. But um, the correct thing to do is go leave the brake set, go back to your dolly, look everything up, all your airlines, open your valves up, make sure the valve is closed on the dolly, and then go back to the tractor, push the red valve in on the trailer, release it, then go back there and listen. That way you're not in between the tractor truck, in between the two trailers when that air takes. Because this is equipment. The equipment fails all the time. So the more that you can do to keep yourself safe and not a harm's way, the better. And that's what I, that, I just made a video on that about cutting corners, complacency, and, it, and how it can cost you your life out here, and it costs someone their life in Kentucky. Doing the same job, pulling doubles. It's a dangerous job. You got these dollies, these pinnel hooks that fail. You need to have the safety chain on there and last. It's, it's more than just hooking up a van, a Ford 853, doing a pre-ship, and going down the road. You, you're adding a dolly. You're adding an extra trailer. There's so many more things that can go wrong. You need to have your weight distributed. The lead trailer in the front. You know, there's so many things that if your mind ain't where it need to be at crisp and clicking, you're going to get yourself hurt or somebody going to lose their life. And unfortunately, that is what happened. We have somebody who lost their life doing this job. You don't go to work expecting to lose your job on your shift. You know it can happen, but... Some, that's that's honestly I'm gonna say it is carelessness, you know. God rest his soul, but to relieve both brakes release and not have you know any gear or just go back there and then get the rolling and, and you you in between it and before you know it, it's on top of you. That's what happens, man. That's why I stress it in these videos. I just said it. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from other people's mistakes. Learn from this guy losing his life doing this job that you don't want that to be you. I'm serious. As much foolishness as you see out here on this road, once you get out here, if you ain't out here yet, from not just cars, trucks too. There's a lot of foolishness out here. And the more that you can combat it and stop it, the better. I made a post about, I shared a picture about turn your lights on when it's raining, and the guy commented, and he said, well, that used to then be a law, and we managed, pay attention and do your job, or something like that to that nature. It's not about, and I, rep I replied, it's not about it being a law. It's not, it's, it's plenty of laws out here that people don't follow. It's a law now, and people don't do it. It's about, past, you know, people may not think, oh, I need to cut my lights on, a truck can't see me. Pass that knowledge on, that way, that one, if you can reach one person, one person, that's it. And they reach somebody. That's all it takes is one person. But we got to get out of that mindset of, oh, do your job, or it's common sense. And, oh, nah, that's, that's not how that works, man. That's not how it works. You got you to gotta be teachable out here. You got to be able to learn stuff. Tomorrow is the March the 9th is my 36th birthday. It's also the day that I got I've been doing this 15 years tomorrow. I don't know, I don't know everything. I don't act like I do. If you guys ask me a question, I'm always like, hey, I'll get back with you. Things like that. You gotta be teachable, you gotta be learnable, you gotta be able to do those things to have a successful career. Because if you don't take care of yourself and your license out here, your, your, your career ain't gonna last. And that's the truth. I want everybody to make it back home safely. 
When I say that at the end of my videos, I mean it. A ride to you pick up and you deliver it on time and safety, for real. I, I, that's what I mean. I mean that. Because I don't want your family to have to get that phone call that you're not coming home because you're trying to provide for your family and you got careless. And a careless mistake costs you your life. We all make mistakes. But the truth of the matter is, some mistakes are fatal. Some mistakes you can't come back from. Some mistakes you can't learn from. Don't let it be you. I'm not gonna let it be me. We all in this together. Learn from your mistakes. Be as safe as you possibly can be. If something is wrong, you need to communicate that. Communication. Keys should be in your pocket. Make sure nobody taking getting in the truck while you're in between the trailers. You don't even want to give them that chance. It's a lot to, to do pulling doubles, and it's a serious job. And like I said once again, I want to I want to drill this. This it's a job that can cost you your life. Whether it's your freedom and you go to prison, or whether you lose your life. You can take somebody else's life. We make good money driving these trucks, but it's also a lot of responsibility. Are you ready? Are you prepared for that? That's what you need to ask yourself. Can you handle this? Because I see at least one person every night that can't handle this. They don't have no business out here driving a truck. Just because you're on the night shift don't mean ain't no traffic out here because it's out here. That's something I want y'all to think about. But as always, make sure you ride to your pickup and your delivery on time and safely. Call your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Love on somebody today. But most importantly, be the reason that somebody smiles today. Smiles are free, yet contagious. The world needs it now more than ever. The Shermel. Coming to you from the Small Fry Show, and I'm out. Peace.